So in the first video, we came up to this point where we created a bumpy looking donut. So now in this video, we're going to add some icing on this donut. And for that, we're going to go to edit mode. Okay. And choose X or Y, whatever you want, or press one on your number path. Okay, whatever is comfortable for you. And after that, just drag like this. This is gonna choose or select the upper part of your donut. But if you check like this, the points behind are not selected because you need to first toggle X-ray. Turn on this X-ray mode, and then now if you select like this, it has selected all the parts we want. Okay. After that, press Shift D to duplicate the thing here. So it's now like locked to your mouse. So you don't need to do anything. Just press Escape because we don't need to. You we don't want to move it anywhere press escape even if you have not moved your mouse don't forget to press escape press escape and then now press p to separate the selection a selected object and choose selection <coughs> so after that you're gonna get rid of this x-ray mode turn it off let's go to edit mode oh, sorry object mode Okay, now we have two objects here. You can see on this right side, donut and donut 001. We're gonna go to donut 001 and double click here on this thing here. And we need to icing. Again, double click on this donut. We're not double clicking on this object. We are double click on this name of the object. Here, double click. Oh, it's already donut. I have uh, renamed donut. Okay, rename this to donut. I've done it already, so if you haven't done, just do it. And uh, yeah, now select the icing. Right now, it's very, very thin, so we're gonna make it a little thick. Select the icing and go to this modify properties choose add modifier and from here choose solidify okay now we can make it thicker uh here here's the thick uh, thickness uh, if you drag towards right it increases the thickness and uh okay when you do that you can just turn it on the x-ray and also this uh change the uh, um, viewport, uh, I mean, display to viewport shading. Okay. Um, yeah. So now turn on the, turn on the X-ray. Now you can see if we increase the thickness, it's going inward. Okay. Instead of, uh, growing outside, it's growing inside. Because the offset is set to minus one, we're gonna set it to one. Okay. Now, if we increase the thickness, it's going out. It's going outside. Um, we don't want too thick, so we can just hold the shift key and drag your mouse like this, so it increases very slowly. Something like this. Okay. Yeah, something like this would be okay. And uh, okay, so let's come to this viewport shading thing here. Um, solid mode. The one uh, before was wire, um, wire edges, a wire frame, whatever you call it. Yeah, wireframe mode. Okay, now we're going to 
solid, solid mode and you can now turn the x-ray off okay looks good but still it has got kind of a thing we are not trying to have because the edge is kind of not smooth uh it's because the because of the uh the hierarchy of or the uh what do you say mm, the way the modifier the modifiers are used we have used the subdivision first and then solidify instead of that we need to first use solidify and then subdivision for that we just can click on these small dots and drag it up okay so now we have this smooth thing here okay okay if if it doesn't look good for you you can all well, let's go to solidify and then increase the thickness okay uh i think for now it's okay we, we, we can uh take care of it later but for now uh the thickness is okay okay that's fine so here we are we came up with this icing on top of the donut okay so in this video i think we gonna st we're going to stop in this stage so keep practicing keep practicing and come back to the video if you uh, skip anything or you don't understand anything we will meet in the next video